Reaching around 1,000 kilometers, the China Laos Railway connects the city of Kunming in southwest China's Yunnan province with the capital of Laos, Vientiane. The 28-year-old Zhou Jiawu, the China Laos Railway project marks a milestone in his career as a railway engineer. Five years, over 1,000 days and nights, that's how long I spent working on the project. Now, watching trains roaring past us on the bridges we built, I felt grateful that we've made it. After working on the project, my confidence has been greatly boosted and I can handle greater pressure now. When I face challenges in the future, I'll remind myself of the Yuxi Mohan railway project. Will there be a project more challenging than this one? Impossible. Overcoming countless difficulties, he managed the construction of a mega railway bridge with the highest pier in the world. He questioned himself once, but eventually persisted, maturing from a rookie railway builder into a chief engineer of a major project. This is the story of Zhou Jiawu, Deep in the mountains, in southwest China's Yunnan province, stands the Yuanjiang Railway Bridge. It's an important crossing on the Yuxi Mohan section of the China Laos Railway. Straddling the grand V-shaped Honghe Valley, the roughly 800-meter-long project boasts the tallest bridge pier in the world. It stands at 154 meters, a height equal to a 50-story high-rise building. The foundations of the pier reached 78 meters underground and took almost two years to build. We hadn't had much experience building a railway bridge of such height. It's a world's first. The degree of precision required was unprecedented. The installation techniques required were very challenging. We also had to figure out how to maintain quality of all construction materials. Zhou Jiawu was one of the chief engineers working on the ground and supervising the project, which was undertaken by China Railway No. 4 Engineering Group, also known as Tie Siju in Chinese. Zhou says the project was hard to execute because of the complex geological and climate conditions. During the designing stage, we surveyed the area and found the local geological composition was very broken. It was impossible to erect a main pier that weighed over 12 tons. Moreover, the bridge had to stand in between two mountains with slopes that were almost perpendicular to the ground. Joe and his team worked day and night and held one meeting after another to brainstorm for solutions to all the challenges. They invented a stress relief system to solve the overload problem. With Joe's meticulous efforts, they improved the installation precision of the structural elements and ensured that the piers would stand solid and strong. Yet, they faced another inevitable challenge, Mother Nature. Ten months out of 12, the average temperature at the construction site is over 35 degrees Celsius. In the summer, the temperature soars to over 40 degrees at noon. To finish the project on time, Builders had to work under the sun from early morning to late into the night. Many began to show a deep tan after months working in the harsh conditions. Because the construction site is deep in the valley, when the wind blew, we could hardly stand still while working 80 meters above the ground. Joe recalls that sometimes the wind could blow with a speed and power strong enough to uproot trees and topple houses. He and his fellow workers had to hold on to steel beams to stay safe. For more than three years, from 2016 to 2019, Joe and his team lived and worked in the River Valley, overcoming technical challenges and battling Mother Nature. The builders slept on the riverbank and rarely left the construction site. One year after the construction began, a flood hit the region. Local people told Joe that the flood might be the worst they'd ever seen. Transportation was suspended, and no supplies went in or out of the valley. 
。然后我们那个时候没办法了，路也被淹掉了，就开着。We were at our wits' end. We could only use forklifts to carry emergency supplies like food and water in and out of the site. People were also transported this way. Confronted with all these difficulties, Joe wavered several times. The job itself was challenging enough. At the same time, the environmental conditions were so harsh and the deadline was so tight. I was overwhelmed and discouraged. There was too much pressure. I thought about quitting many times. In the end, he persevered and stayed. But what helped him to change his mind? Joe told us that his project manager Joe Jihong, acting like a big brother for the young engineer. Helped him a lot during those days. I feel like there are simply no problems that can't be solved and no obstacles that can't be conquered with his support and encouragement. When the team members felt lost and anxious, he would hold group talks with us and solve all our problems. At the age of 53, Zhou Jiawu's big brother is a seasoned infrastructure builder. Having worked on various railway projects across China for over 30 years, the young engineer told us that until this day, his big brother is always the first one who wakes up and starts a day's work in the team. Under the influence of the big brother, the team's morale stayed strong and members grew very close. Finally, in 2020, the massive Yuanjiang Railway Bridge was successfully completed, and trains began test runs on it. I felt proud. I was proud because I witnessed the whole process. It began with small steps and grew into a mega pathway. Joe and most of his colleagues are in their twenties. He says they're like his brothers, and they went through all the difficult times together. Now he's become a big brother to many junior members on his team. I met a bunch of good mates here fighting together on the railway. I came earlier, so I saw them repeating what I had gone through. Each of them arrived, all passionate and hopeful. But from university campus to the construction site, they all had to take time to adapt because everything was far from what they had expected. Joe joked that when he graduated from college with a major in bridge engineering. He thought he would dress up in suits, looking all good like those successful engineers on TV. When I was in college, people told me that engineers only needed to suit up, point at the design drawings, and instruct workers about what to do. I found out that was all fantasy when I started on the job. I'm always dirty. I'm always covered in mud and concrete. I only wear white shirts for project meetings. To Zhou Jiawu, working on the railway is not a flashy job, and working on the China-Laos railway might be even less glamorous to some extent. But the experience has transformed him into a mature and seasoned man. I think you have to be patient and persistent. You have to handle all the pressure and the unbearable heat. You get used to the solitary environment and learn to resist the lure of the city buzz. After the Yuanjiang Railway Bridge was completed, Joe continued his journey as a railway builder. New challenges and difficulties, of course, are ahead of him, but Joe says the experience he gained in building the railway bridge can serve as a treasure and encouragement for the rest of his life. Five years of building the bridge, and after that, we are now building the railway bridge. Five years, over one thousand days and nights. That's how long I spent working on the project. Now, watching trains roaring past us on the bridges we built, I felt grateful that we've made it. After working on the project, my confidence has been greatly boosted, and I can handle greater pressure now. When I face challenges in the future, I'll remind myself of the Yuxi Mohan railway project. Will there be a project more challenging than this one? Impossible. The man who's made the impossible possible happens to have a soft spot in his heart. I feel I owe my wife and my baby an apology. When my wife was pregnant, I was still working on the railway, and my wife was far away back home. 
During her pregnancy, I wasn't able to accompany her to any of the checkups. That night, when she was about to deliver our baby, I was busy with work and missed all her phone calls. I only learned about the birth of our baby the next morning. Working on the China Laos Railway takes years. Many people enter a new chapter of life during that time, getting married or welcoming a new life. Joe and his wife work for the same railway company. They got married in 2018 while working on the Yuanjiang Railway Bridge. We are not the only couple who got married while we worked on the Yuxi Mohan project. There are six other pairs of newlyweds. We had our baby in 2020, and before that, there were already ten babies born during the time span of this project. After the China Laos Railway opened, Joe says he plans to take his wife and child to travel all the way across the border from Kunming to Vientiane. And with that, we conclude this episode of Footprints. Thank you for listening. Special thanks to our reporter Wang Chuan. From our program producer Yin Xiao Qi, this is Tony Reid.